got 30 foods in a runner's fridge. If you've got a fridge and you're eating as a runner, it's time to do a spring cleaning of your fridge. Two months before any top race, you want to be changing the way you eat. I've got 30 foods here that I want to run through you very, very quickly and why they should be in your fridge. Now, number one are grapes. Grapes are excellent. Grapes work with energy systems in your body. They're also great on your digestive system. So rather than having a sweet tooth, get grapes. They're sweet, but they're natural sweetness. Coconut water. You don't need a fridge, but coconut water is the world's best sports drink. So if you're running pre-run, during run, post run, even up to four coconut waters a day is perfectly all right. Broccoli. If you haven't seen this vegetable, get it. It looks like an Indian cauliflower. Broccoli has got very, very high nutritional content which helps marathon runners recover faster because of the soreness. Chicky. During the day, you're a software engineer, you're a businessman, you run during the day and you have to work through the whole day after that. Chicky is an excellent protein carbohydrate meal. It's sweet. It's a perfect dessert. Uh, I would do, if you're running around 10k a day, about half a slice of this. Then, with regards to liquid, milk. Milk is your best friend. Skim milk is what you should be choosing out there. If you're allergic to milk, go with curd. With regards to your bread, always go with brown bread. Chapatis are also a family of bread, so chapati or brown bread. From the vegetable family, beetroot has the highest vasodilation recovery properties, uh, makes your blood vessels dilated, delivers more nutrition to your blood vessels. In fact, if you watch another one of the videos, it tells, it increases your oxygen carrying capacity by 19%. Carrots, carrots are high in phosphorus, bugs bunny high in phosphorus. It's really, really good for muscle firing at the end of the day. Tofu is a form of soya, it's a fermented soya. Those of you who cannot get protein or vegetarians, tofu is an excellent source in addition to your pulses. This could be something which you could keep in your office drawer and keep munching throughout the day. Squeeze a little lime in that for flavor. I always tell my marathon runners, have lemon. So cut a lemon, squeeze it into the water that you drink because the lemon al makes the water alkaline. Alkaline helps your muscles flow smoother if you want to say. Honey. Honey is an alternative to the sugar. The chemical processing of sugar and the toxicity effect it has on your sugar levels. Honey is a perfect example. From the fruit family, I would go with banana, papaya and pineapple. Why banana? It helps you sleep. It's got, it, it increases your serotonin. Banana has a good amount of carbohydrate. Papaya is excellent for your digestion and a good amount of carbohydrate. Pineapple for all runners post run. Pineapple has something called bromelain which helps with anti-inflammatory. Pomegranate, did you know the Indian soldiers at the Siachen Glazer eat a lot of pomegranate to keep them recovering faster because they have lesser sleep and the high cold conditions? The mineral content in this is really, really high. Dried guava, okay? It's got very, very high uh, vitamin C content. Also, I have got dried amla. Both of these guys can be taken as a trail mix, can be popped through the day as a snack. Dates, post run, dates have a high fiber, high sugar content, helps in muscle uh, glycogen replenishment. Strawberries are in season and whenever they are in season, their antioxidant protection enables muscles to start singing faster. So if you are running a lot and training a lot, you could do milk with strawberries or curd with strawberries as an option. Sweet potato the big daddy of all calories, the most effective post-workout recovery food available on the planet. The lysine content in sweet potato really, really helps athletes recover at the end of the day. So I recommend this to all people who are beginning to run. Apple, natural fat burner. Whether it's green or red, you could get natural fat burning from an apple. Eat an apple whenever you're hungry. Eat an apple before your lunch. You'll reduce your calorie intake. With running and apples, you're bound to lose more fat in your body. With regards to chocolate, dark chocolate should be the name of the choice. Go with chocolate that has got 70% plus cocoa. That's good, it has lesser sugar, it's really good, it's got anti-inflammatory properties. There's no reason why something as sweet as chocolate should really hinder your performance. My favorites for people who are working and also runners are Nutri-Grain Biscuits. These are biscuits that have multiple grains in them. 
they're a little bit chalky kind of, not like your sweet cream biscuits and all, but to every runner, if I open up your car and see this in there, I would give you a thumbs up because it will really fuel you during busy meetings, you can't eat a proper lunch, have a few Nutri-Grain biscuits with that milk of yours. Granola bars, excellent when on running on trails or you're traveling to different locations, you can just pop in granola bars with Rice Krispies in it or with honey and oats in it. Granola bars are the food choice to be in your fridge. Finally, when you go out to the coffee shop, a muffin is a good choice. It balances its calories out well. Don't have too many muffins. Don't have the muffins at all, the chocolate and sugar toppings and crustings and everything. Just do a simple banana and walnut muffin. That should take care of you as a marathon runner. And finally, in addition to my foods, I have three favorite supplements for runners. One is the proverbial whey protein. Okay, one is glutamine which makes up 60% of your muscle and one is astaxanthin which is a microalgae. If I put all of this together, I can guarantee you that as a marathon runner, you're going to improve your timings by over 3 to 10% if you're a recreational runner. If you're a professional runner, get professional sports nutrition advice coupled with a blood test to really know how you can enhance your performance. At the end of the day, these 30 foods should be in your fridge. I wish you all the best when you're training.